The fact that Mother Teresa suffered deep interior darkness for close to 50 years is now a commonly known fact. However, it wasn't always so. Shortly after Mother Teresa's death, there were Jesuit priests who managed to preserve certain parts of her writings and interior life. Sometime after she died, um, documents that had been kept um, by the Jesuits in reality were, were released to us as we began to do the, the process of her beatification. So in that way we began to find out the things that we had never known. Nobody in the congregation knew that for 50 years she passed through such darkness. Mother Teresa was a very private person, wanting her prayer life to be kept between her and Jesus alone. She experienced the ultimate pain, feeling rejected by the Lord, the one to whom she had dedicated her life. When she prayed, it was empty, um, and it caused her great, great pain. And it took her a while, I think, in a sense, to really begin to understand what God was doing through that. And this darkness is something that happens at times in the spiritual life, uh, this purification of helping us to come to love God for his own sake, not for, not for, for what we may receive. In this way, she was able to personally connect and experience the same plight the homeless experienced each day, abandonment, feeling unloved and unwanted. Her love grew not only for God, but for neighbor, and she gave from her heart, not expecting anything in return. But then I think she entered even deeper into this and began to see that this darkness that she was passing through, this feeling unloved and unwanted, was sharing in the abandonment of the poor, in their feeling unloved, um, abandoned, rejected. And she herself expressed it like that.